Hey there Fall Strikers, Trix Gaming here bringing you a Monster Strike tutorial video. Today I'll be talking about team building, just the first part, just the basics of... For those that just started the game or even veterans like me that have been playing this game for a while, so team building. What you want to do is always to build a team that counters the abilities of the event you're tackling on or it, so let's take one for example, this one. So what you want to do generically, you can press on the info here. And a window should pop up saying the characteristics, which is mostly the hazards. Most of the time, X flags in this app, it doesn't state all the, all the hazards, but it should give you the general idea to what to build your team around with. So it gives you information on the boss types. So it's green, so you it's a wood type. So what you want to do is bring a fire element and the characteristics or hazards as we call it. There's damage wall, shields, and poisons. So damage wall being the big big two or three would be mines, damage walls. Actually, I should say big four. Yeah, big four. Warps, mines, gravity barriers, and damage walls. Those are the big four that that mostly pop up in most events. So what you want to do now, since you have the info on the hazards and the boss element, you want to build your team around it. So damage wall. Let's see. I'm not actually I'm not actually gonna play, but yeah. So damage wall and wood type so you want to bring a fire element with a no damage wall that is that's key you want to bring as much counters as possible to make your life easier in the event so i'll probably bring athos as a support and then with my team i'll probably bring fire elements so sorting out fire and then going to ability and then you want to pick out no resistances. What type resistance really helps too, but you want the damage wall, damage wall, damage wall. Where are you? Bet damage wall. <laughs> there we go. No damage wall. So fire element, no damage wall. There's a few I have here. So let's just go with someone like Zeus. Yeah. Feeling Christmassy still. Go with them. Slot 2, damage wall. And damage wall. Or oh, this shields too, they say. So why not bring a unit with a shield breaker? Sometimes you can do that. So shield break, let's see. This only has shield break, I believe. Yeah, shield break. When picking breaker units like these, Usually they don't have a null ability, so you have to play really safe. So you want to choose this. Oh yeah, if you have someone with high luck, you want to put them as first slot at always. So you get the bonus luck on the chest drops. So I'll be swapping this over to this. So this team looks pretty solid, I'd say. Yeah, you your shields to break. Yeah, you have shield breaker to break the shields. You have no damage wall units to bounce in between the damage walls if you really need to. And you can do damage, massive damage. And you have a fire element team that takes down wood type element, which do you do extra damage. So that's it. That's the first step. And I'll probably post more about team building part two later on today so look forward to that until then happy hunting as the x flags people say or should i say yeah okay thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time on part two on how to become a better striker see ya this wood type resistance really helps too but you want the damage wall damage wall damage wall where are you better damage wall <laughs> There we go, no damage wall. So, fire element, no damage wall. There's a few I have here. 
So let's just go with someone like Zeus. Yeah, feeling Christmassy still. Go with him. Slot two, damage wall. And damage wall. Or this shields too, they say. So why not bring a unit with a shield breaker? Sometimes you can do that. Show shield break. Let's see. This only has shield break, I believe. Yeah, shield break. When picking breaker units like these, usually they don't have a null ability, so you have to play really safe. So you want to choose this. Oh yeah, if you have someone with high luck, you want to put them as first slot, uh, always. So you get the bonus luck on the chest drops. So I'll be swapping this over to this. So this team looks pretty solid, I'll say. You have your shields to break. Yeah, you have shield breaker to break the shields. You have no damage wall units to bounce in between the... Damage walls if you really need to. Hey there, Fall Strikers. Trix Gaming here, bringing you a Monster Strike tutorial video. Today I'll be talking about team building. Just the first part, just the basics of. For those that just started the game, or even veterans like me that been playing this game for a while. So team building. What you want to do is always to build a team that counters the abilities of the event you're tackling on or it so let's take one for example this one so what you want to do generically you can press on the info here and a window should pop up saying the characteristics which is mostly the hazards most of the time x flags in this app it doesn't state all the want to build your team around it so damage wall let's see I'm not actually I'm not actually gonna play, but yeah. So damage wall and wood type. So you want to bring a fire fire element with a no damage wall. That is that's key. You want to bring as much counters as possible to make your life easier in the event. So I'll probably bring Athos as a support, and then with my team, I'll probably bring fire element. So. Sorting out fire and then going to ability. And then you want to pick out no resistances, all the hazards, but it should give you the general idea to what to build your team around with. So it gives you information on the boss types. So it's green, so you it's a wood type. So what you want to do is bring a fire element and the characteristics or hazards as we call it. There's damage wall, shields, and poisons. So damage wall being the big big two or three would be mines, damage walls. Actually, I should say big four. Yeah, big four. Warps, mines, gravity barriers, and damage walls. Those are the big four that that mostly pop up in most events. So what you want to do now, since you have the info on the hazards and the boss element. You 